Hi, I'm Adrian Lim. For my Media Ethnographies DA, I created an Instagram account called iWaste eWaste. This account is designed to raise awareness amongst my media niche, Australia's Generation Z. My generation, born between 1996 and 2012, about the environmental pollution and social injustice caused by the smart device industry, particularly the impact of e-waste, with a focus on Apple devices. According to blogger Edina Zanilovic, Instagram allows you to build your brand image through pictures and videos, more effectively than any other social media website. I upload 27 posts from 8th of September to the 27th of October. I followed other content creators like Greenpeace on Instagram, The Verge on YouTube, and Apple Sucks on Reddit to gain posting ideas, reinforce their current messages, and learn persuasive techniques regarding their target market to adapt these for Gen Z. Social media is important to us digital natives, who value our peers' opinions. I humanise my posts' content and deliver a direct message with visual impact, using concise texts and thought-provoking questions to convince my media niche of my sustainability message and build a following. I created an online persona that many in my media niche could identify with. Someone who cares about the environment and believes in social justice. Posting often enabled me to communicate many persuasive appeals before Apple's 2021 product release. I uploaded persuasive emotional appeals via confronting human images, which criticised the tech industry, like pictures of destitute Voringer in e-waste dumps. I use visual intellectual appeals showing Apple as being richer than the US Treasury Reserve. Before Apple release, I used the theme of sustainable tech purchase. When the controversies regarding the new Apple products came out on Apple Sucks and The Verge, I reinforced these issues too. When I began my posts, I had 26 likes. But no comments. I used participatory observation, specifically sensory observation, or my perception, for my qualitative analysis. My following was declining slightly, but my interpretation was that my approach was working. However, my posts likes declined further. I decided more precise, objective, qualitative evidence, as well as quantitative data, could reveal a more accurate picture. I created an Excel spreadsheet for a longitudinal observational survey and interpret the findings. I discovered a meme post I uploaded to test media niche reaction, obtained two positive comments. The true measure of my sustainability messages success, but I hadn't responded to this feedback by redesigning my posts. I then switched to all meme posts with more success. My following is still small, but my six later meme posts have produced 30 positive comments. More intensive research taught me that my online persona can persuade by using humour, even though the post's content is serious. Memes are funny or ironic, and often feature celebrity or pop culture images, which Gen Z respond to. My autoethnographic research demonstrates my media niche is responding to my sustainability message. I use my Gen Z self as a guide in selecting persuasive memes. In this case, my sensory or perceptional observations are working. Now I have achieved the correct post formula. I hope my Instagram following will expand. I have posted my meme messages on Facebook and Twitter to further enlarge my media niche.